rebound. Score! Elijah Gonzalez, late in the game, five for Wellington. Wow, 52 seconds to go in the game, and Elijah Gonzalez, where he's been all night in that gray area. I'm joined by Elijah Gonzalez of the Wellington Dukes. Elijah, how has your season gone for you, you think? I think my season's gone really well. We've had a lot of success as a team, and I've had some individual success and done some individual goals that I've set at the start of the year, so I think it's gone really well. Last year you played for the Aurora Tigers, and the Wellington Dukes knock you guys out in Game 5 of the Conference Final. What has it been like on the other side of the Lehigh Arena? Definitely, uh, it was definitely tough. It was nice to come into Wellington last year and see the fans, the atmosphere in the building was unreal. They weren't cheering for me at that time though. <laughs> but uh, definitely showed me what this organization's like and what I'd be walking into when I got here. What's the difference between Vince Blissimo and John Drews? Well, they definitely have different coaching styles. They, uh, they're both very professional in the way they carry themselves as people and both pretty strict for the most part. And, having things be in order and a professional style of play with the team. Now during the regular season from our vantage point here in Wellington, it seems like in the third period, if John gives you a pep talk, you're either on assist or scoring the goal next. What has he been telling you during those pep talks during the games? Honestly, he's been t kind of preaching to me for the last little while just to use my speed, use my skill and play my game. I obviously stay out of the box as much as I can, but I. Uh, definitely been on me a lot about using my speed and I think it's been helping me a lot lately. Definitely and speaking of staying out of the box, what is something that you've been working on? Because you are one of the players that has the most penalty minutes in the OGHL. Is it something that John Drews has been trying to change with you or is that just a part of your game? Well I, I like to play on the edge, try and find that fine line of going in the box and staying out of it. Try and be a gritty player and get out of the under guy's skin when I have to, but I feel like my main goal has just gotta be scoring goals and producing for the team that way. And that's where you really shine, because you're on the top line with Tyson Gilmore and Dylan Massey. What have they been telling you guys and what have you been discussing off the ice? Well, off the ice, we just uh, we watch a lot of video, kind of see what we're doing with and without the puck here or there. And We've been working a lot with our puck possession and our entries, trying to keep the puck as much as we can throughout the game, and it's been helping us a lot. What player have you has influenced your style? Uh, I'd say probably Mitch Marner, someone like that, but honestly, I've been a big Patrick Kane fan for my whole life, so I'd say Patrick Kane. Okay. Now, Coburg Cougars gave you guys a really good test, a uh, bit behind in Game 4 and Game 5, but you really came out gunning in the second and the third. What is the biggest thing you're going to have to adjust heading into the Whitby Fury series? Uh, I don't think we really have to adjust too much. We're playing really good hockey right now, and honestly, I think we just kind of have to build off that, but not get too high on the fact that we did beat Coburg quite easily and just act like we are the four seed because that's what we are. Now, outside of this in September, you're going to join Andrew Rinaldi for the Rochester of Institute of Technology, their hockey team there. What attracted you to Rochester? Well, as soon as I got to the school, I fell in love with it right away when I went on my first visit. And it's a smaller school, it's close to home, and the hockey program, it's, it's phenomenal. Like, every facility is almost brand new, and honestly, I just fell in love with it right away. Any thoughts with what you're going to be studying? Down I'm going to go into business. Nice. And is there anything that you're going to try to take away from your time at the OJHL and perhaps try to advance your skills at the NCAA? Like, what's something you want to work on? Definitely want to get bigger, stronger, faster, like always. But uh, definitely my speed. I feel like I've got, I've got more in me. I can get faster, and if I, if I get faster, my play with the puck, I'll have more time, stuff like that. So, like my speed. What's the one thing you want to ask John Drews before you leave? Definitely about his playoff run with Washington <laughs> that year. Definitely curious about that. And from a community note, you've been really praised by the Wellington community with not only how you handle yourself on the ice, but off the ice. 
how has your experience been in Wellington and specifically your billets? My experience in Wellington has been unreal. It's honestly a home away from home for me. I, I feel very comfortable, honest, honestly, since training camp. My billets are great people. They took me into their home and give me everything I need, so it's been really good. What's your goal going forward in, in competitive hockey? I want to make it to the NHL. That's the main goal. Uh, try and do whatever I can to get there and obviously get a university degree before that. That's, that's one of them too. On a shorter time frame, Whitby has been excellent against Wellington in the past this regular season. What is something that the team is going to perhaps have to adjust heading into Whitby? I think we're going to have to adjust, kind of just realize we're playing different opponents now and they do things differently than Coburg. No team is the same. So just like fine details, but nothing too big because like I said, we're playing well and you don't really want to change it up when things are going well. Coming from another conference last year with the Aurora Tigers, is there anything that you've been telling your teammates about life outside of the East Division? Um, not too much really. I definitely let them know that it's, uh, it's really nice to be here and <laughs> not to take advantage of it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Elijah Gonzalez, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations and good luck in the second round. Thank you.